the 10-day Presence Immersive Happening with Maharishi Kapriti will take place in Goa from December 24, 2024 to January 2, 2025. For more information and to register, click the link in the description below. I would like to ask about Narendra Modi. By the mainstream media, they describe as uh, as right wing and pro capitalism, and generally also put in a bad light. So I would like to ask you, what do you think about Narendra Modi? I need to start with the history of the Indian subcontinent. We are looking at a very very ancient culture. It's the oldest living culture in the world today the longest living culture in the world in terms of the Sanatani uh, culture. We're talking about many, many thousand years old. And around a thousand years ago, we had the invasion of the Muslim uh, armies that came into India, and then gradually over the next 800 years or so, managed to dominate the entire subcontinent, followed then by the Portuguese, the French and the British finally, who took over the subcontinent. So, dominated by two very powerful founder religion based groups, Islam and Christianity. And also, this period of 1000 years has seen the largest Holocaust known to humankind, actually. We're talking about around 250 million Hindus that were killed, burnt tortured, raped, plundered, sold as slaves. So it's been a very heavy past that the subcontinent has had to bear. When India gained independence from the British in uh, 1947, you had an interim post-colonial colonial government that continued with many of the colonial ideas it was a destroyed, ravaged, completely decimated, horrendous place with the Hindus themselves, not an aggressive culture, being dominated and subjugated. The Hindus had lost their, their sense of self and had to begin to regain that. But this interim period, until people like Narendra Modi came into power, was dominated by those who were more connected with the with the Western world and with Western values than with ground zero Hindu Sanatani values. And you had a group called the RSS, the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh, that stood for Hinduism and the Hindu way of life, which as probably everybody knows, speaks a lot about the whole world being one family, everyone allowed to follow their own path to the Truth. All paths lead to the Truth, there is no path that can be um, can be shunned. So the, the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh, the RSS, was this group that grew in numbers with the idea of creating a place in this world that would preserve the freedoms of Hinduism or what was called Hinduism by the British. And Narendra Modi grew up with the RSS. He was formed by the by that idea of this nation that would be living the ideals of Sanatana Dharma. And then he became a politician, and of course, as every politician, and especially politicians in the subcontinent, he had to take up various, various uh, you know, faces and do many things which perhaps won't be considered to be exactly the nicest things to do. But his foundational energy has always been to hold the subcontinent together. He would be one of the great uh, leaders of the Indian subcontinent. Narendra Modi would be one of those that has come now to, to consolidate this ancient civilizational space and give it contour 
give it a place in the world and the means and methods he's using to do that may not always be kosher he and his and his supporter Amit Shah and uh, others around them but it is a very, very heavy responsibility and in the long run what is attempted here is to strengthen that one place in the world where there is true spiritual freedom because what determines the face of Bharat, of India is not its wealth and its riches it's not its ability to manipulate and go to war it has always been its spiritual knowledge and that has always been the aim of the leaders of the subcontinent who actually understood the essence of what that subcontinent is about leading 1.4 billion people is not an easy thing and certainly one can't be a nice guy with a halo around his head to do that Narendra Modi has started out something he's going to go down in history as being the leader of modern times that started the process of this subcontinent finding itself again Yes Yes, Maharishi Kaji, thank you Namaskar Namaskar, Lino You are invited to a live online satsang with Maharishi Kapriti this Sunday. To know more, click the link in the description below.